Welcome home, Master. I was expecting you. I've prepared a huge dinner just for you. If you want, you can start from the dessert. Or maybe, would you like to start with me? No, no, not that kind of maid. Jeez. Ah! I'm talking no maid outfits, plus severely underpaid. Just how I like. The first maid in our home that I recall was kind of like my nanny. I really don't remember anything except for the fact that she was nice to me. And she brutally beat my sister with a stick. Yikes. Fast forward to when I was 8, the maid we had then must have had some kind of grudge against kids cause oh boy, she would beat the living out of me every chance she got. I remember one time me and my sister were hiding under the bed from her, and the maid eventually found us but she couldn't reach. But her lust to abuse kids was unmatched, so she left the room and came back with a broom. She was going to kill us like a bunch of rats. But we'd swiftly changed hiding locations, and we would have gotten away with it if she didn't look so damn hilarious swinging at the air. <laughs> Maybe I should call this video a case study of maid child abuse. But you know what these maids have in common besides child abuse? Smell. Mm. And it's not a bad smell, no. It's this weird brand of soap that reeks of poverty and drought. I can say that, cause they beat me up. Don't know who's selling this to every maid in the state, but they must be making bank cause all these maids smell the same. On a lighter note, there was this one maid who had a habit of stealing sugar. I don't know, maybe she had diabetes. Be weird. That's it. On two separate occasions, we had maids that were possessed. I know it sounds fake, but trust me, I've seen it firsthand. First one was straight out of a movie. At the time, my room was next to the kitchen where the maid was, and one day, I started hearing moans. And these were no sexy moans, no. These were, oh no, she's asking for child support kind of moans. I get out to see what the deal is, and my parents are just standing there, looking at this poor woman laying on the floor. I was like, why aren't you taking this lady to a hospital? Which is when my mom splashed holy water on the maid's leg. To which the maid responds, I don't... I don't know what to do now. I'ma go watch some anime. The second maid was more subtle. In fact, she was a very good person and she treated me like I was her own son. I was basically a king, but then one day, out of the blue, she just walks in with a knife in her hand. And then she said something along the lines of, I could kill you right now. And me being a stupid kid, I said, I dare you. She put the knife so close to my neck that I started to think she was actually gonna do it. Have I ever told you I like your hair? You've barely seen my hair. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Have I ever told you I like your bandana? Or, or what is that? Is that is, is that? Is that, is that, is that and then she just left. And I pissed myself. Later that day, she actually ran away from home and a few days later showed up with a relative that explained to us that she was possessed and the devil made her do it or something. And she also returned some salt that she apparently stole. I don't... I really don't know why they be stealing random food items. Like, you could have stolen the TV. Or my phone. Or my sister.